Okay, uh, I'm here with uh, Justin McMillan, uh, director of Sweet River. Um, Sweet River is coming out uh, tomorrow, December 5 on Netflix. Um, just before we, before we get too far into things, um, I take it uh, Sweet River is what, your first feature length movie? It is, it is Luke, yeah, it's my first um, narrative feature. Well, you know, congratulations. I've, I've, I, I'm, thanks, man. I've, I've made a documentary. <laughs> yeah, I've made a uh, feature on doc before, but um, n never a narrative film. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the other projects that, you know, people might know your name from? Uh, you know, you, uh, uh, I, yeah, I did a... Mentioned of, of a few shorts and documentaries. Sorry. Yeah, I've done a couple of shorts um, and I I did a documentary with a friend of mine called Storm Surfers 3D, uh -huh. um, which was like a big, big wave documentary. That was probably the most, um, I guess, famous <laughs> other project I've done. Mm. Okay, um, and you uh, so you directed and you're also involved with the writing for Sweet River. Um, what kind of inspired the whole, what inspired Sweet River? Um, well, to be honest, I got an opportunity from a, a producer to, the brief was basically, uh, I want to make a genre film um, within the parameters of our living proximity, uh, which is, you know, around the Byron Bay greater area. Uh -huh. And um, you know, it had it had to be uh, had to be a specific genre, and it had to be under a certain price. Um, okay. So, so okay. I had a few. Yeah, I had a few so ideas. Do it, and, yeah, for this price, and yes. Yeah. Oh gosh, think before you talk, Luke. So was the so was the spec sort of script, and you're giving you're giving your details, and that was pretty much it, huh? Yeah, so I just, I, I wrote the original story and um, I wrote, um, you know, like a, a, f a fair bit of the, um, yeah, just the first pass into what I, what I sort of outlined, the, the overall kind of arc of all the characters. And, and I, I started um, location scouting while I was doing that. And the locations were kind of informing the story uh, uh -huh. as I was going, um, which was kind of interesting. And then... I got to a point where I was like, oh, you know, I think I might actually have something here, something that I, I, I'd be, I'd be keen to watch. I'd be interested to make and keen to watch. So, um, I, I pitched it back to the guys, and um, you know, we developed it a little bit, and then um, I had one screenwriter, Mark Fermi, on board for a while, and uh -huh. had a couple, had a couple of shots at the screenplay, and then I took it back off him and, and did a couple of goes myself. And then um, Eddie Baru came in and he had another couple of goes and, and, and um, between the three of us, yeah, we bashed it into a pretty good shape. And um, next thing you know, we were, we were shooting within a year, which is wow. crazy. Yeah. Well, it's de definitely not the sort of thing you want to watch late at night. I'll tell you that. Uh, Cause uh, when I, when I got to, was it, sort of, you know, coming at midnight when I got to watch it and it's very spooky at that time of night. Uh, yeah, that's um, uh, what, you know, what, what's, what is, a, you know, Sweet River about? You know, what can audiences expect from it? You know, it's, it's, it, it's a film about uh, two, two women, um, essentially at its core and, uh, and, and obviously another central character and one of the, one of the ladies partners, but it's just, it's, yeah, I guess it's two, two families coming at grief from, from either the side of the fence, you know, they they've, they've both lost children. Um, but you know, one is trying to look for closure and, and the other isn't. And, um, it culminates in a, um, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in, a pretty, in a pretty interesting way. And I, I always, I don't know, I always kind of looked at the way that um, men and women dealt with grief and it always fascinated me how people could just get on with life and, and that, that emptiness and how they try and sort of 
deal with it. Um, and cause I, I think it's, it's, uh, you know, being a father of three, it's, it's, it's definitely my biggest fear as well. So, um, I don't know, that was pretty much the motivation behind it. I think that that sort of dark loss is it's really powerful stuff. It's really rich area to, to write stories in and around. So, um, yeah, I basically, that was the motivation behind it. And, um, I just really, really wanted to, you know, explore that area. And as I said, I, I found it really interesting once I started writing because, um, yeah, there was there's so much complexities um, into the way that each of us as individuals deal with grief and, and how mm -hmm. we process stuff and, and um, how we get on with our lives. And I thought if I set up a really hyper real situation versus a very real situation, um, I was just really interested to see what would happen if I put those two worlds together. Yeah, well, it um, certainly went in a direction that I didn't see coming for that payoff towards the last half hour or so of the movie. I yeah. really didn't see that coming, coming and it was... You know, that, that's what I really liked about it. That and some of those uh, tracking shots you had over the cane fields were really beautiful. Yeah, cool. Um, cool. Well, you know, uh, a, a, as I mentioned, sort of a sweet river is a bit of a chilling sort of chilling, not quite depressing movie, but definitely hovers around that territory, as you mentioned, with how it deals with grief. Um, what, what, is there anything in that you enjoyed filming while you were filming uh, Sweet River? Um, you know what, it, it was, it was, it was a tough shoot. It was, we had to shoot all of the, you know, second unit, B unit stuff prior to the shoot. Um, because we literally only had a 17 day window for principal photography. So, um, we didn't really have enough money for any, um, pre-production, uh, with our actors, um, at all. I had a couple of read throughs with Lisa and Marty. So, uh, it was a real baptism of fire for me. Um, I had an amazing crew that would, had worked on bigger films and a lot of commercials that I had a relationship with, but they watched me pretty much walk straight onto the set and, and learn how to become a long form director in front of them, which, you know, arguably was frustrating for all of us at times, but, um, you know, I, I, I there, there was just too much at stake, uh, for me to, to, to sort of back down and, and, and walk away from it. Uh, even though I was, you know, so exhausted all the time, I just needed, you know, a day or two to kind of catch up. But once you, once you start, you just, you can't, you're seven days a week. Um, you're 18 hours a day, uh, until, until you're done. And, um, and that was a real mental and physical challenge, um, that I don't think anyone you can ever really prepare for. Um, you can, I thought I was prepared, but, um, yeah, just, just the curveballs that you get along the way are really, really, really challenging. And I can see why people fall in love with filmmaking for that reason, because, um, and you get better at it. I'd imagine mm -hmm. from time and time, and time to, that you go through that process, but yeah, there's nothing like, uh, nothing like your first time. And I'll never forget it. I'll never forget those feelings. And I'm really um lucky that uh, i had such a, a great crew around me to um yeah to, to get to the end it was good okay, yeah well uh one last question uh before i let you go and uh, you know are there any given that uh sweet rib is like literally about to be released um are there any plans for any future movies that uh that you can talk tell us about uh, no, I, I'm, just, I'm still in development on my next, next project. Um, and it, it hasn't really got, um, anything, uh, that I can talk about cause I it's sort of still in that pitching phase, but, um, uh -huh. but, uh, what I will say though, is that I kind of went into, you know, the idea of making a genre movie as something that I probably wouldn't have considered prior. 
um, to this process, but um, after writing the story and executing the film and understanding, um, you know, what those extra layers of whether it be supernatural or whatever those elements might be to layer up real human stories um, has, has actually triggered something inside me that, that wasn't there before. And um, I, I quite like it now. I, I, I sort of, you know, I, I love that element of, well, what if this happened and what if this is actually going on uh, as opposed to just real stories. And I think because I've done so much documentary in my life that, um, you know, and finding that, that romance and, and emotion in, in, in real life um, that, you know, sometimes um, putting that into a longer form narrative format with an extra layer that you don't expect or something that is a little bit, I guess, different, um, then, then that, that's exciting me. And I think audiences might respond to that as well because it's just, uh, yeah, it's just, it's not, it's not that it's never been done before, but there's just so many interesting ways to do it. And um, I, 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 like, I like the idea of exploring that world a little bit more. So there might be a few more genre say. movies in you, huh? I think so. Or at least um, I really like the idea of a TV series um, just because I'm such a sucker for really good binge television. <laughs> so, well, hey, hey, you've got that re relationship with Netflix now. So come on, take Netflix, give this man a TV series. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hopefully they're watching and they, um, they listen to you, Luke. <laughs> anyway, well, thank you very much for your time. And uh, good luck with Sweet River. Thanks, thanks, Luke. Thanks for having me on. I'll speak to you soon.